Looking for a mod that can move items, fluids, energy, and more? Well, you've come to the right place. This is one of many that you could choose, and one of the better ones for your servers. Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Pipes. This mod entirely focuses on the transportation of items from one location to another, allowing you a few filtering concepts, but also allowing you a few other options of uh, prioritization. It doesn't have a lot in the mod. It's just everything you see here. There's a few different item pipe types, a few upgrades, a filter destination tool, and a pipe wrench. That is it. Does not add any new world gen or anything. How does this mod work? Well, you first make yourself some pipes. There are a few types. There are item pipes, which are designed to move items. Fluid pipes, which you guessed it, they'll move fluids. Energy pipes, which move various types of energy, and then universal pipes, which can move any of the previous ones as well as all of them at the same time. There are a few upgrades that we have here, but I'll go over those shortly, and the filter destination tool kind of coincides with that, but you probably will want a pipe wrench as well. Pipe wrench is made with just a couple of sticks of some sort, plus a little bit of flint. And if you make any of these pipes and place them down next to each other, they will not connect. They have to be of the same type. And if you do not want them to connect, you can use your pipe wrench to disconnect them simply just by sneak clicking them with your wrench. Then if you want, you can reconnect them like so. By trying this on other ones, it will not work and you won't pick them up or anything like that. If there is an inventory that they are connected to just by placing them here like so, this is an item pipe, which you get 16 of from this recipe using some iron ingots, droppers, and a piece of redstone. You can sneak click with your pipe wrench and it will change the way that it actually has items flow. The items inside will start flowing out, as you can see here, and go into another inventory, which it is then, well, just kind of flowing into. So this is kind of an output and it defaults to an input for a connection. If you sneak click again, it will remove the pipe entirely. To bring that back, you'll just need to be able to see the face that you have uh, kind of cut off at this point. Sneak click again, and it will go back to an input version. Then you can always switch this out, and it will go back in the other direction. This is just a very simple and easy way allowing you to kind of move items. Now this also works for fluids as well. If you make one of these blue pipes here, which is just some iron, some buckets, and some redstone. And you can see that the fluids are just kind of like draining out into this other container here. Same as before, you can just kind of get in the way here, make it input and output and reverse it if you so desire. It's very simple, straightforward, and easy to work with. And yes, if you really want to, you can branch them out in multiple directions. The third type here is energy pipe. This requires a bunch of redstone and a little bit of iron gets you another 16 pieces, allowing you to transfer energy from one area to another. In this example, I am using mechanism, basic energy cubes. This one here is full and I currently have it so it's automatically ejecting the items, outputting the energy to all faces of this cube. The bottom one I currently have inputting on all faces of the cube, but it is currently empty as you can see here. By changing the type of energy connection here, you can see it is now transferring in the bottom right corner 256 Fe every tick. Checking in here, you can see that it is currently increasing. We're getting over 60 kilo Fe right now. And as before, you can always remove it and you can switch it around to reverse if you so desire, including multiple connections, same as all the other cables, just different types of things are being moved items, fluids, or energy. This is universal pipe. It is a bit pricier than the other ones to make in that it requires all three of them plus some iron and redstone in order to make them and you don't get quite as much. It more or less just upgrades six pieces total from the other ones into six universal pipe with this extra stuff. So if you notice here, we have everything connecting to everything. I've got some granite in this items. I've got water here and we've got energy that is currently outputting on this energy cube. Here we've got nothing, we've got an empty container for fluids, and we have an empty energy cube here. Of a quick note, I do recommend fluid tank also is a very good item and fluid transport mod if you want something even simpler than this one, but it doesn't quite have as much in the way of customization. Moving on from that though, let's actually take this and sneak, click, click, click 
everything is changing all at once. Just by going here, you can see the granite is dropping, you can see the water is dropping, and here the energy is dropping. All three of these are automatically figuring out the destinations they need to go to, and there you have it. Now with the basics aside, let's cover a little bit on how you can modify these, filter them, and kind of have things sorting in a way that you want. Now I currently have a simple setup of just some item pipes coming from this barrel, going into these barrels here, just for uh, simplicity, this is going to be the input chest, this is going to be the output. Now nothing is set to currently move. If I do use this, I can sneak click and that can it'll start automatically placing things into different locations. But if you change this to an output, you then automatically get access to filtering options, or at least it looks like it. Without any kind of uh, upgrades in your uh, unit here, you don't have anything that you can do. You just get to look at it and go, aw, I should be able to do something with this. Well, let's got a little picture here for the upgrade. You can only have one type of upgrade in there at a time. And if we put the basic one, it allows us redstone mode, which means that we can have it off, on, always off, or ignored. Which more or less, if you want to have this so that you turn on a filter after you have a bunch of things go into this uh, barrel, you could do so just by having a lever next to it or something of that fashion. Your basic pipe upgrade is just a bunch of iron and redstone dust. It's not too expensive and it should do quite well for uh, exporting your items into chests or other storage options. Switching this out, we'll go with the improved pipe upgrade. This made with a bit of gold and redstone around a basic pipe upgrade, will allow you several distribution options. One is to have it go to the nearest inventory, the furthest inventory, the round robin, or randomly. Choosing this, of course, with the nearest one here, that would be this barrel here, I put something in, it instantly goes into the closest one. Again, switching it to furthest, it'll go to the farthest barrel. Round robin means that it will put an item in each barrel in sequence, starting with the closest one. So let me put in this here and this, and we've got three items. It dropped one in the first one, one in the second one, and then one in the third one. And of course, random just randomly drops items uh, hither and thither in any number of storages that are connected to the network. Now, if we switch this out and we put in an advanced pipe upgrade, which is diamonds and redstone blocks around an improved pipe upgrade, we then get the option to filter things with a, a whitelist or a blacklist option. And the add button has been highlighted. You can click on here and you can actually add in specific items like dirt, cobblestone, whatever you like. You can just add in multiples of these. You can change the MBT data. You can even use the filter destination tool to set a destination. There's also the regular or inverted options down here, and you can match only provided tags if desired. In this case, I've chosen cobblestone, so we're going to submit this. We now have a whitelist allowing cobblestone to the nearest barrel only. So if we do round robin, this will allow several items to go in. So let's put this in here. We'll put in dirt. First barrel got nothing. Second barrel, nothing. Third barrel, nothing. Why? Because the whitelist is allowing cobblestone to go through. I put that in there. It will then put the cobblestone in the nearest chest. I can change this to round robin and take out the cobblestone, put that in here, and it should go to the next chest. As you can see here, we're on the middle one now. But yet that dirt is still sitting here because we have a whitelist only allowing cobblestone through. Now, if you want to modify this a bit further, you're probably going to want the filter destination tool. If you remember on here, there is a little slot for it where it discusses you can insert this here. And it is made with a glass pane, a button of some sort, some iron and some redstone. Then you just click on a block location. In this case, I'm going to choose the middle chest. Destination is set. Going back in here, we can click on this one and we can edit it. We also can remove it if we desire, but in this case, I'm using this for the example. We can say, all right, let's set a de destination. Click here and it puts the destination in place, saying specifically the south side, which is this facing. So be careful, you're not just clicking on the block in a general space, like this side of the block, if you wanted this one. You want the side that is connected to the pipe. Also be sure to click submit or else it will not save your results. Then you'll know that it'll say this barrel and it will be on the south side of it with that little S there. It also has the coordinates so that you can see, and it gives an estimation of about five blocks away. So by adding in some more filters in here, I currently have cobblestone. So to give you an example of how you can better filter things through with just this one pipe at one end, I currently have it distributing to the nearest first. 
cobblestone is going five blocks away, which is the middle barrel here. The others, granite, stone, dirt, diorite, they're all going four blocks away, which is actually the closest barrel. I have nothing going on with the farthest away barrel, but I also have diamonds, which isn't even on the filter setup. So let's put all these things in here, and you'll see that the dirt, diorite, stone, and granite go into the closest barrel. The next one here, we've got cobblestone going into the middle barrel. And the last, we've got diamonds going into that one because it, the others were whitelisted for the other barrels and the diamonds were not. And that's just with an advanced pipe upgrade. There's also ultimate pipe upgrades, which are incredibly expensive at four netherite ingots each, plus four more blocks of redstone on top of an advanced pipe upgrade. By switching this out, you'll notice, hey, where'd all my filters go? Well, they're all on your advanced pipe upgrade still. If you switch them back in, they'll be there still. But if you trade it out, the upgrades don't remember. Before I cover the final ultimate pipe upgrade, I feel that there is something that I have overlooked and should explain a little bit further. And that is that the different upgrades do a little bit more than just the extra options that you may see in each one. For example, let me uh, look into this barrel here. You see there's nothing there and there's a barrel full of stone. So if I sneak click, this will start slowly going into the neighboring barrel. By upgrading this to, let's go with an advanced one, it starts to pick up speed. If I put something more along the lines of an ultimate in there, it's almost instant that it transfers everything in place. So as you go up in level with these different pipe upgrades, it will also speed the, uh, the transfer of any kind of items, fluids, or other energy. That being said, anything that is used for the universal pipe might be a little bit different in how it looks. For example, if I look at this, I now have three tabs, items, fluids, and energy. Whereas before, if I'm only moving one item, it's going to just be one of those instead of all three. But as this is universal and can transfer any of these, albeit slowly because I have not upgraded it, you can choose each individual one separately. And as before, by putting the ultimate pipe upgrade in here, it almost instantly will transfer over all of the contents of this other barrel. And you get all of the different options that you otherwise would from an advanced pipe upgrade. Just a bit faster. Okay, like a lot faster. And that about does it for this bit by bit on pipes. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, don't be afraid to stop by on Twitch. Click that notification bell on either platform. And until next time, folks, I'll see ya.